hello everyone welcome back to my channel happy wednesday today i'm here to do an unboxing for you all now today's unboxing comes from oraloa this kit was sent to me by them to share on my channel um but like i'm sure you guys have all, probably all heard this from other people who do unboxings just because a company has sent me a kit does not change my thoughts and opinions i'm still going to give you um the same reaction, the same information that I would even if I had purchased the kit myself. So this is kit two of the three that they sent me to unbox. So let's go ahead and get into this one. Now it is a little bit smaller if I'm remembering correctly. That's why I have you guys set up this way. Um, but let's go ahead and get started. So they do have a new box. Um, the, I don't know how recent they changed this box. The last one that I unboxed for you all came in the same design, um, but this is somewhat new. So if you have not seen it before, you're going with the Tiki mascot still. And then it's just really pretty like shades of green ombre type of thing. We have a premium diamond painting canvas set. Uh, some of this is in French. They are a company based out of Canada, but I also believe they have um, warehouses. Actually, let me take that back. I don't know that they're based out of Canada, but they do have a warehouse in Canada, which is where the orders come for the United States. So there's that. Um, but they do have French and English on pretty much all of their packaging. On the back we have some instructions on where to start, how to diamond paint. Um, we have down here it says exclusive licensed designs which is something that I tend to look for in companies and then there's also they do have their customer support. I've mentioned before that I have dealt with their customer support even before they were sending me kits and I have had a really good experience so take that for what you will my camera just dropped down a little bit all right let's get into this so we do have our box that's shrink wrapped which is nice it kind of just gives that extra layer of protection um, we also have the image on a couple of spots on the box. So we have it on the top, which you guys aren't going to see very easily. Um, but there is one on the top, which I prefer because I do tend to lay my kits down like this, how I store them. So being able to see the image on the lid is very helpful. But they also have it here on the side. So this kit is called Old Jaffa Port by Alex Levin. This is a square. Uh, I can't remember too much about it. I don't remember exactly what size it was, but I'm remembering it being smaller. Yes. Okay, so that is it for the box. I'm gonna just sit this down here. Okay. Let's open. There is a sticker on the plastic bag that says C0420. I just wanna see if that's referenced on the canvas anywhere. Let's see. I don't see, oh yes, here it is. So in the bottom left-hand corner, it has the artist name, the kit name, and then it says C0420, which is also on the drills. So if you're somebody who stores canvases and drills and everything separately, um, that will probably be very helpful for you. Personally, I just put everything back in the box. That's how I like to keep track of things, but some people do like to store kits flat versus rolled up in their box. So I do like that they have that code, uh, which will make it easy for you to match everything up. So this kit is poured glue, so I am just rolling it backwards so we can get it kind of flat. Um, that should do it. All right, let's lay this down and then we'll take a look at everything else that we have here. So we do have a printout of instructions in a few different languages. Um, there is a coupon code on this sheet as well. 
And then we have, you know, Welcome to the World of Oraloa. We have a sticker sheet. So there are 50 colors with one, two, three, four, five ABs, which we will take a look at. And we have a thumbnail of the image there. I just thought it was really neat. I've never seen this artwork before and it looked kind of, I don't know, it's like landscape-ish, but also abstract kind of. I don't know, I was very curious to see how this one would work up. So let's go ahead and take a look at the drills and everything. Now this kit is 57.2 by 40 centimeters. For me, I would consider that a really nice snack size kit. Um, something like this <laughs> wouldn't take me too long, but Oraloa does tend to have a lot of confetti, so just keep that in mind. Um, I do see a few pretty deep divots in this kit. So I don't know if you guys can see how the plastic isn't laying flat right there. It's kind of, I don't know, there's like a reverse bubble. Since this is poured glue, that really will not cause you any problems. What I like to do is I like to peel the plastic off and I like to just kind of like gently pull on the side of the canvas to get it to lay somewhat flat. And then I'm going to take the plastic cover back over and you could use um, like a straightener, something like this, or you could use like a bone folder. And I like to apply some pressure because I want to try to get that to lay flat so it doesn't have that little bubble. And hopefully, I don't know if this is the best angle, but it's gone. So let's do this one. There's another one over here. So you guys can see right there. I don't want to peel the canvas back because I want you to be able to see the separation of the cover. But if you look at it from the back, you guys can see that pretty big bubble right there. So again, I just like to peel back, give the canvas a bit of a tug just to get that to flatten out a little bit. Sometimes that happens if they lay the plastic down too soon. Um, it can just happen from the kit being rolled up. Rolled up. I don't know how long it's been rolled in that package. So there's something wrong with the canvas. I just know that some new diamond painters may think that <laughs> that is a problem. It's really not. Um, and you don't even have to do this step. I just like to try to get rid of bubbles. And then you can see that big bubble on the back here is all gone, just like this one. So, you know, little side quest there. <laughs> I noticed them, so I thought I would show them to you or show you how I would adjust that. Again, it's not a problem, just something that I prefer to do. I like my kits to be as flat as possible. So let's take a look at the toolkit and then we'll look at the canvas, the drills, all that fun stuff. What do we have in here? Looks like my little wax pot opened up, but that's okay. All right, we have a clear pen with a three placer. We have a little wax caddy with three pieces of blue wax. I'm hoping you guys can't hear my washing machine. I feel like you probably can. We have this little, I don't know what you would call it. You could definitely make this into a cover minder. It's plastic. We then have this little business card. Uh, we have a scratch off, which I will do at the end. We have a seven placer, a white boat, some purple tweezers. These ones are pretty sharp. We have an Oraloa branded washi tape. If I can get it open, here we go. With just some of their, look at the little stingray. She got some lipstick on, she's cute. <laughs> With some of their branding on it. And then I also have a purple squishy. So that is the Oraloa toolkit. I wanna see if I want anything on my scratch off. Okay, let's take a look at the drills. Now, 
I'm currently working on an Oraloa square kit. It is, I think it's called Wonderland Party. It's the last Oraloa that I unboxed on my channel. If you want to check out the unboxings playlist for this year, I actually think it might have been my first unboxing. That sounds about right. Um, so I'm currently working with their squares and I am pretty much enjoying them. There is some trash, but nothing that's very, like nothing crazy. Obviously most diamond, all diamond paintings really. There's trash drills. Some of them just aren't as nice as others. Um, but I have worked on a version one square kit from Oraloa that I kind of struggled with. Um, but I'm happy to report so far, I'm about, a, I have one full row done. I think I'm in like the first section of the second row. So I have a pretty good amount complete. And while I've had some trash, I haven't had any like lifting drills or popping drills or anything. So I'm really happy to report that back to you because this is another square kit. <laughs> so before we get too much into the drills, just by looking at them here, they look really nice. Lots of flat bottoms. Um, we will look at those in a second. I just want to take a little tour of the canvas because I'm going to look at the drill field. So we do have Oraloa's branding at the top. At the bottom is their little slogan, let your creativity sparkle. We have two legends. So we have one on the top left and there is a little thumbnail on the bottom as well as that other information I showed you earlier. And then we have another legend here on the right. And then all of Oraloa's social media and everything is at the bottom there. So looking at the canvas from where I am, um, it looks pretty clear. However, one thing that I think I would critique is some of their darker blues have black symbols versus white symbols. So I do feel like that can be a little hard to pick up as your diamond painting. And it looks like it doesn't look as bad in this kit, I will say. I think because there's less colors in this one. But some of these blues down here that are a little bit darker, I think that would benefit from being a white symbol. Now, in my opinion, symbol choice and symbol color, it's very subjective to the diamond painter. You may diamond paint that and have no problems at all. I'm just speaking to the fact that I have worked on a couple of Oraloas. I'm currently working on an Oraloa. I think that some of their darker colors on the canvas could benefit from having a lighter symbol. So personal preference, but just something that I wanted to make note of uh, in case you were looking to pick up an Oraloa. If you look right here, this area here, we have a few different shades of blue and some of them have white symbols and some of them have black symbols. I don't find that to be too much of an issue, but it's some of these darker blues down here that I think could benefit from having a lighter symbol. Again, that's, those are my eyes. <laughs> we all have different eyeballs. So um, from my perspective, I would like them to be a little bit of a lighter color. Um, but otherwise, these all look really clear. I do find that Oraloa's drill field is quite clear. Um, aside from wishing that some of the symbols were a different color, the print is very clear. Um, so I never really have an issue with not being able to read a symbol due to clarity versus color of symbol, if that makes sense. <laughs> Um, I will say that I find Oraloa to be very confetti heavy, at times unnecessarily confetti heavy, like not unnecessarily, unnecessary confetti. Um, that is their rendering style. That is how they get so much detail in their kit. If you're somebody who loves confetti, please check out Oraloa because you'll be right on board with the confetti. Um, this one, however... <sighs> I'm definitely seeing confetti, but I'm not seeing as much confetti. So in some of these, like, I don't know exactly what you would call this type of brush stroke that the artist has used, because to me, the image looks like, I was trying to decide, like, do I think they're fireworks? What exactly do I think is giving this effect in the background? So you have like your boats, you have your sailboats, you have your lighthouse, there's some buildings back here. And those all look really clear, but over top of them is this like overlay of color, like splashes of color. I'm not really sure exactly. I 
I should probably look up the original artwork like on the PC and see um, if I can tell a little bit better, but I think the image is really cool with that effect. So it's not that I don't like it, I just don't really know exactly how to explain what it is, like what's happening in the background. At first I did think it was fireworks, just because it kind of looks like the smoke of a firework once it's gone off. But I think it's, I don't know, what do you guys think it is? Please let me know. <laughs> Um, but in some of those areas where it's rendered, there's definitely a lot of confetti. But if you're looking at the sky, you have a lot of Y. You have some of the, I call this symbol the cinnamon bun. I don't know what you guys would call it. <laughs> um, so I do still see some color blocking. I feel like this one could be possibly a nice mix of color blocking confetti. I won't really know until I get into actually working on it. But I think it's a fun image. I like boats which is really entertaining because I have severe motion sickness. So I do very poorly on boats, but I like boats. <laughs> so anyway, um, as far as the drill field, I find it to be quite clear other than, you know, one or two symbols that I think could be printed with a lighter symbol. Let's take a look at the drills because we do have five ABs to talk about. Now the Oraloa drills do come pre-bagged, which if you are around my channel very much, you know I don't necessarily love, but there are plenty of people who really love having baggies. Some people just work straight out of these instead of kidding up, which if you can do that, that's great because it would save so much time. Um, but the drills themselves look really nice. I'm not going to pour these out right now because I just unboxed a square Oraloa. Um, I think I did pour some drills out in that video, but just looking at the back of the bag, I don't know, hopefully you guys can see like how straight some of these diamonds look. So I'm really excited about this quality. I definitely think that there's been a really big improvement since my first square from them. Here is another color. This is 809. Again, lots of flat backs, flat sides, straight sides, all that fun stuff. Go ahead and pull out the ABs. I think I said there were five. One, two, yes. All right, well, let's see where these ABs go. I don't think there's any 310 in this kit. No, there isn't. No 310. How exciting. All right, our first AB is 208, which is this dark purple. Look at that AB coating. So pretty. That is the anchor symbol. And let's see if I can find it. Okay. I'm seeing it here at the top of this lighthouse. I also see a few in the sail of this sailboat over here. And it looks like there's one or two sprinkled in this building in the background. Next up, we have 775, a very pretty mint. AB. That is the check mark symbol. And I see that right away here in the sail of this sailboat. I also see a bunch in the water over here. Let's see where else. I see some up around in the sky here. There's also some around this little tugboat over here. There's some highlighting this boat over here. So it seems like this one's kind of just sprinkled throughout, probably used as some type of a highlight color. Our third AB is 820, which is the letter X symbol. Really bright, dark blue. Uh, I'm seeing that all throughout the boat here as well as the boat here, a lot in the building. In the background, there's some on the sailboat. I also see some in the sky up here in this darker area. Pretty good amount of that 820 AB. Next up we have AB 995, which is the cinnamon bun swirl <laughs> symbol that I showed you guys earlier. So there's definitely a bunch of that in the sky. Um, there's also 
I'm looking, I'm looking. There's some down here on this bottom part of the boat. And I'm also seeing it throughout the building. Lots of blues in this one. And then just a tiny bit of 5200 AB. And that is on the lighthouse. We have some on the sails of the sailboats. There's also some on the boats. I also see some around the building, a little bit in the sky. There's not too much of this, but it's kind of sprinkled throughout, which will look really pretty. I love 5200 AB, it's so pretty. So those are the five ABs. Um, I don't normally measure my kits, but let's give this one a measure. Why not? So the, the um, inventory sheet is listing this as 57.2 centimeters, which is right on the money, by 40 centimeters. Let me do it in frame which is also right on the money. So Oraloa to me is true to size. I don't really know. Um, I don't want to say that I don't care about that. That's really not something that I personally am drawn to is the sizing of the kit, <laughs> whether it's a little bit off or it's bigger or smaller. That doesn't really matter to me, but I know that some of you care. So I did want to go ahead and measure this one because I did not measure my last Oraloa. Um, however, I measure all of my kits when I put washi tape down, so I do know that they tend to be pretty true to size. So that is today's unboxing of Old Jaffa Port by Alex Levin. This is again from Oraloa. I do have a link for Oraloa in the description box if you are interested in picking up a kit from them. Um, I am really excited to report back to you on the this version of their square drills so keep an eye out over the next couple of weeks for a post review on the first first oraloa that i unboxed for you guys um because i'm really enjoying it so far so i hope you guys enjoyed today's unboxing thank you so much for checking it out again link for oraloa will be in the description and i will see you guys in friday's video bye